since getting the Adventure Kings paddleboard for Christmas. I've posted several photos on Instagram and I've had so many messages from people asking all different questions about it. Is it worth the value for money? So I thought I'd do this review, answer all your questions, and we'll see how good it really is. All right, let's get to it. So this is the bag it all comes in. Now it all fits in this one bag. Um, one thing you've got to be careful, as you can see, it's quite large. So you've got to consider, is this going to fit in your car? Especially if you've got two of these for your partner as well. It comes with pockets on each side. Uh, it's also a backpack you can throw on your back. So that's quite handy as well. So overall, the bag's not too bad of quality considering the price of this product. Once we open it up, you can see actually how compact the paddleboard folds down to. They give you a strap that goes around it, keeps it nice and tight. Easily fits in the bag, you fit your oars, um, paddle leash, everything in the bag. When it comes to your pumps, there's two options available. Now, neither of these come with the paddleboard, so they will be purchased separately. You have your single action pump, which is straight up, up and down, but it will only pump on the downwards action. Um, this here, if you're on a budget, then it's fine, but it's gonna take you a very long time to pump it up every time. I hope you're super fit. Uh, this one here, we went with the triple action pump. It's got three different settings. You start on one, you pump it up 80% on number one first, and then when it gets a bit hard to pump, then you switch to number two, pump again until it gets hard again, and then switch to number three, and it just gets easier every time you change it, until you get about uh, 15 PSI is the max, and 15 is what I run mine at. One more thing with the triple action, it is pumping into the paddleboard with the up and the down strokes, so it's twice as efficient as the other pump. Now it comes with a cap here, I simply twist that cap remove the cap. Now there's a little valve in here. Make sure that is out and up. If you push it in and twist it that way, it'll deflate it. So make sure when you're inflating it, twist it and make sure that comes up and then it's ready to deflate. The pumps have these little notches in the ends here, which will interlock inside the valve here so that you get an airtight seal and it'll hold it there and won't leak. I'm not going to show you pumping up with both pumps. Um, that really is two or three times slower. So I'll just pump it up with this one and see the comparison. At least you know how long it even takes with the quicker pump. It's still not easy. It still wears me out really quick. Oh, so unfit. If you are extremely unfit like me, I did find electric 12 volt pumps with cigarette plugs on eBay for around $130 that'll plug straight into that and pump it up in no time. Oh man, so unfit. Both these pumps have pressure gauges built into the top of them so you know exactly what pressure you pump it up to. Now I've switched it over to number two. So it's not pumping as quick, but it's putting a higher pressure in. Now number three to finish it off. That's finally pumped up to 15 PSI. Oh, so out of breath. You can see how tall it really is and how wide it is too. It's nice and stable in the water. Sorry guys, I had to come move into the shade. Someone pulled up and started fishing right next to where I was filming. So I have to do with the shade. Now it comes with two built-in fins on the back here. They're permanent, but it comes with a removable fin that just goes into the bag and it has a little clip on it. So all it does, slides in here and the clip will just lock in straight through the fin. Done, you're all ready to go. It also comes with a paddle leash. I would highly recommend using this, tying it around your ankle. Because if you fall off, this can go away from you. And this is your safety device. If you're in a strong current or something, you'll need this next to you, so you don't want to lose it. Now you've got tie downs here, 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 carry handle in the middle, which makes it nice and easy to carry. Carry handle is also a good reference. If you are sitting or standing, have the center of your body over this handle, then you know you're centralized on the board. You've got rubber feet, both sides here, that's where your feet go. The whole lot is rubberized, really good. And you've also got straps here, you can actually strap 
camera bag, whatever you've got, cotton bag, whatever, to the front there. They give you a paddle too, which is one size fits all. Comes in three pieces, so it fits in the bag easily. But you just under this clip here, and you can adjust it right out. It's got all your different measurements along here. And it even tells you when to stop. So you can come out, there's a the stop line there. So that's as big as it goes. So you've got your nice big handle at the top here. Plenty of room to get down and paddle for the even the tallest person. An idea I had, if you're just starting out or if you're out somewhere where there's bigger waves and you don't really feel confident standing up, if you've got a spare kayak at home, attach a kayak chair to all these tie downs. That fits quite well. And sitting down, it's pretty hard using that paddle that comes with it. So if you've got a spare paddle for a kayak, makes it really easy to paddle as you're going along rather than having to change hands every single time. Now enough talking, let's get it out there. Now I'm still a beginner, so I'm gonna be just as good as anyone else starting out on these. So you'll see how easy they really are. Make sure you start out deep enough so that the fin isn't touching the bottom. It's only a plastic fin and you can bend it quite easily. So I start from at least knee height. Now learning, probably easier just to start on your knees. Get your knees spread nice and wide. So you get your balance and then you're ready to go. And then when you feel confident, you can give it a crack standing up. Put your knees down, put your hands down, put your legs nice and wide, and stand straight up. Don't look down, look straight ahead. It's quite hard to get your balance, it takes a lot of practice, I'm still not used to it. You can see my legs are still very wobbly. Very wobbly. But once you get used to this, it's even smooth, faster than paddling on a kayak. This thing just glides through the water. It is amazing. It's really hard to get used to though. Try and turn around without losing my balance. That fin on the back, it's great for keeping you stable. Um, it won't turn every time you paddle, but it is, makes it a lot harder to try and turn around. Bloody hell, it takes a lot of practice to get your balance. Oh, I nearly went over then. It is really hard. I have a lot of praise that people that make this look really easy. Even though this is solid and feels like it's a completely solid board, I'd like it to be a little bit wider so it felt a little bit more stable. But saying that, you can have two people on this sitting down I sat down on it with another person with my son and it helped both our weight with these no hassle at all I'm wiggling it now it feels very unstable it's a lot more stable than it looks when it comes time to bring in your board I would recommend once you get it on shore even though it's gonna get sandy stick it upside down it is only a plastic fin now we bought two of these uh, and the second one, when we opened it up, this fin was bent straight out of the box. Now, I know once you stick it out in the sun, it's going to straighten again, but you don't want to have a, a bent fin when you're out paddleboarding. Packing it up is really simple. Just undo the cap here. That center valve. Push that in and twist it again. And then from the front of the paddleboard, just start squeezing it and start rolling tightly. That's it. Strap goes around it and you're done. Now let's talk value for money. Is this just another King's product that disappoints everybody? Well, surprisingly, for the price, around I think $210 on their store at the moment, compared to something on eBay, this is the cheapest one I've found so far. And I honestly cannot fault it. There's nothing, there's no quality issues at all. Um, a lot of them you can pay up to $1,000 for a paddleboard. And I really don't see the value in paying $1,000 for a blow up board. So this here, there's nothing wrong with this. I cannot fault it. Later on, I'll do a long-term review, but I think this is definitely worth your money. 
the kids will love it too. Adults, oh my God, it's so much fun. You will absolutely love it. But if you've got any more questions about the paddleboard, guys, leave a comment, always happy to answer. If you found this video helpful, leave a like. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing. It really helps my channel out, and I'll do lots more videos just like this one. So stay tuned for the next one, but thanks for watching the video, guys, and I'll catch you later. Cheers. For those that have stuck around this long for that bonus tip, it's one you'll really enjoy. It's very helpful. I wasn't actually aware of this. I had um, Jess and Ben send me a message on Instagram as I was filming this video, and they sent me a little tip. This product right here, rather than using that manual pump or even an electric pump off of eBay, if you already own a compressor, put this adapter straight on your blow up paddleboard and put your compressor straight on that and you blow it up, no worries at all. Bloody hell, that's awesome. I would never have thought of that. So Jess and Ben, thank you very much. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.